there's like shitload of snow and we just drove like five meters and we're already stuck on the parking lot. <laughs> So I wanted to shoot my comeback movie, Code Red. So for two months, we were keeping our eyes on the forecast and nothing was hitting Europe properly, you know? And all of a sudden, there's this big purple, black storm hitting for the north of Iceland. Mikey Business calls me up Monday morning and I was there like, yeah, let's not. It's like a blizzard, are you crazy? So I hang up the phone on him two times, three times, and eventually I got my head around it. I was like, okay, let's go on an adventure. Code Red. Chase is on. An epic forecast appeared on the radar for Iceland. So that's where we're off to. So we heading to Iceland, into the unknown. We immediately got in touch with the local to give us some local knowledge. Einzi it was, a great, great fucking rocker. Yeah, so we'll, like a we'll shit be on the other side, actually. On this side? Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's not so that's okay. our best bet. Okay. He advised us to not go north. I mean, everybody was advising us to not go north because there was a blizzard hitting. So only snow, the roads would not be drivable, and uh, probably like 70 knots of wind. We went straight for it. Snowstorms along the way already, so uh, I'm curious to see what we get tomorrow. So we stay overnight in this hostel, and then the next morning we leave early to head towards the beach. You think? What's happening? Yeah, there's like shitload of snow, and we just drove like five meters, and we're already stuck on the parking lot. Five meters after leaving the the hostel, we got stuck already. Look at this. Right. No bueno. Fuck, what are we even thinking? Chasing a storm. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> what a deal. Are we stuck or what? What's the forecast saying? Well, Afternoon should be clean. Nah, not really, eh? No. Shit. The owner from the from the hostel came out to help with his tractor and he was like, oh these fucking tourists. Yeah, well he said he's gonna dig this out but. He doesn't see the purpose of it. It's because the forecast is like this and it's going to be like this in about 15 minutes again. After he digged us out, we still had it out. Oh, good. It was a total exploration into the unknown to a spot that Mikey Business pointed out on the map and we just headed out on the most icy and crazy roads until we got to that point and it appeared to be beautiful. Unfortunately, after a couple jumps, I wiped out full on to my rib and oh, it's just fucking bruised. So, Iceland is over. Fuck. <laughs> I was like done. I, I saw the whole project fail and felt the f fucking horrible. So 
Yeah, just looking for spots. And this is snow blizzard. I really wasn't happy with my performance yet. So I'm speaking to him. The storm was moving on. Should I take painkillers? Can I continue? Uh, how's my body doing? The last place where I want to be is the hospital. Pretty good session. It was a beautiful location. Bummer that the wind died on us. We went on an adventure, and an adventure it is. We're just checking Windy TV non stop and see where the storm is going, how it's evolving, how it's progressing, where it's pushing to. And eventually, the storm was pushing for Holland, so we decided to change our tickets last minute and fly home two days early to make it in time for the storm. And this was a great adventure once again, like broken sternum, can I really pull up the tricks that I can? Uh, will it be good? Uh, we have this budget, but like it's all quick decisions and, and quite some risk you take. But hey, no risk, no story. You just got to go for it. Woo! Boogie Loops Ash! Yeah. Hey.